dare to play. Hello, is this Marte Windeglassen? Who is please calling me? Um, no. I'm trying to reach Ned Nickerson. Nancy, it's Ned. I, I thought with you being undercover and everything, I had to take on a different persona. Ned, I'm the one who's undercover, not you. Okay, okay. I guess I'll just go undercover vicariously through you, which for some odd reason feels very deja vu-ish. Feels... It'd probably be a good idea if you didn't mention my assignment to anyone. You never know who may be related to this case, even up at Emerson. Your secret's safe with me, along with your heart. <laughs> You're such a sweetie. Enough lovey-dovey talk. It'll make me miss you even more. So have you found any homicidal secrets yet? How can I get into Aunt Eloise's safe? Look around for a note that has the same symbols as the safe. Ciao. Tschüss. Hi, Nancy. Help me get into Jake's locker. Figure out how you can translate his name into numbers. The answer is probably staring you in the face right at this exact moment. Bye, Ned. Bye, Nancy. for teachers only. Hi, Nancy. How can I get into the teacher's lounge? Aunt Eloise must have a key. Look for it in her house. Ciao. Off Weaverson. is off limits but i have a key yeah right i've heard that one before hi nancy connie won't let me into the teacher's lounge look at the bulletin boards to give you a way to get connie away from her post i gotta go bye nancy Hey, Nancy. Need something? Have you seen any of those weird messages on the bulletin boards? <sighs> yes, and if I catch the guy who's doing it, he's going to be in big trouble. I bet it's the same person who keeps on setting off the soda machine alarm. Uh, 
I guess that comes with a territory of being school monitor. Normally it's not this hectic. When I figure out who's been pulling all these pranks. I'll let you go. Bye, Nancy. Great, you broke it! Hey, Nancy, need something? Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. So Connie, the student monitor, to the rescue. Again. Hi, Nancy. I need a password to get onto the computer in the teacher's lounge. Aunt Eloise probably has that information locked up very safe, maybe even doubly so. Talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. I'm not sure what to do with a secret message in the map drawer. What Read every other word and then follow the directions. The answer is a number that Jake would have used several times a week. Talk to you later. Off Weaverson.
Hi, Nancy. What do the dots on the lock to the maintenance room mean? The They're Braille notation. The encyclopedias in the library must have information on how to decipher them. Bye, Ned. Tschüss. Hi, Nancy. Where is Jake's seat? Upstairs in the library underneath the periodic table. I gotta go. Ciao. Hi, Nancy. How can I figure out the puzzle box that Jake left? Until you can find the first step, you won't be able to. But in the meantime, look for his 18 steps. Think chemistry. Talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. Hal's English essay is the same as this essay. You plagiarized your senior essay on etiquette, and Jake knew about it. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester, or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this. I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. Hectanol is a steroid and was one of the drugs stolen at the drug station. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. Tell me about the robbery at the drug station pharmacy. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about is football. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Hmm, that
that medallion Connie is wearing is kanji for crane. Hey, Nancy, need something? Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? I gotta go now. Later. Nancy, I'm starting to wonder about you. Your medallion has a symbol that means crane, and crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. What a coincidence. Funny, I never noticed. I gotta go now. Later. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? Had why were you in Jake's locker? I'm working undercover for the police to investigate the murder. Oh. <laughs> Good one! You, an undercover detective? But seriously, I have no idea. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? I had a little sprain. No big deal. Within a week, I was better than before and impressing the football scouts. I'm as strong as ever. Well, your uncle isn't here if that's who you're looking for. I'm sorry for saying this, but he's kind of a Mr. Cranky Pants. How so? He's on edge from drinking all of our coffee, and last week he seriously freaked out on me. What happened? I don't know. He lost something in the diner and accused us of stealing it. He went kind of psycho. Oh, before I forget, someone left this note for you. It was on the counter when I got back from break. Okay, I think I found the first step to solving Jake's book. Now what? Uh Make sure you found the other steps you'll need to solve the puzzle. Push down the symbol that's on the matchbook, and then follow the directions on the bulletin boards where Jake left an element's abbreviation and a direction. Put the elements in order based on the periodic chart. So HE is the first element you'd start with. U2 stands for moving up two spaces. Carbon is the next in order, and so the next button you'd push is R1, or one space to the right, etc., etc. Talk to you later. Bye, Nancy.
Okay, I think I found the first step to solving Jake's book. Now what? That Make sure you found the other steps you'll need to solve the puzzle. Push down the symbol that's on the matchbook, and then follow the directions on the bulletin boards where Jake left an elements abbreviation and a direction. Put the elements in order based on the periodic chart. So HE is the first element you'd start with. U2 stands for moving up two spaces. Carbon is the next in order, and so the next button you'd push is R1, or one space to the right, etc., etc.
this is the story of a student council president gone terribly bad. Let's take a look at what kind of homework he's bringing home from daddy's top secret military industrial aerospace factory. But what does Daryl do with this stuff? He's too stupid to really know what it all means. But he's not too stupid to know how much these industrial secrets are worth. You see, Daryl's selling out to our local air conditioning guy, Mitch Dillon. Not sure what a guy specializing in HVAC does with satellite schematics, telemetry encodings, and signature intelligence, but I'm sure whatever it is, it's not exactly legal. But it's probably worth a lot of money to Mitch to keep it quiet. Breaking news, check it out. I found out who Mitch is selling Daryl's secrets to. This dude, can you imagine? This dorkoid is the ringleader of some kind of clearinghouse for military secrets. And Mr. Clueless just forgot his journal full of important notes like contact numbers, system passwords, project code names, amounts paid, etc, etc. And some other stuff I don't understand, but I can tell that this guy will pay top dollar to get it back. But just in case, should anything happen to me, I'm putting the journal in a safe place. I taped it underneath one of the book carts at the school, but I doubt he'll give me much trouble. Just a ton of cash. So if you find this video, come look me up. I'll probably be long gone from Paseo del Mar and tanning my bod on my very own private island, retired at 17. Aunt Eloise? Is that you? Detective Beach, I didn't expect you. I just thought I'd come by and see how you're doing. You seemed kind of in a hurry. Did you find the journal? Yes, I found your journal. My what? Uh, Jake's journal. I found Jake's journal. No, you said my journal. You said that you found my journal. Why don't we step into the living room and have a nice chat about where my journal is, hmm? Oh, and why don't you give me your cell phone? I'd hate to be interrupted during our little tete-a-tete. -tete. So, this Detective Beach, an undercover assignment, was just a ruse to get me to find your journal. You killed Jake, didn't you? Yes, I did con you into this undercover charade, and you just ate it up. I mean, you had the lingo, the self-important attitude. You're a real snoopy Susie, aren't you? But as far as murder goes, no. That was my former partner, Mitch Dillon. But stop with this delaying tactic, Detective Nancy. Where's my journal? It's in the entrance, behind the tapestry. What's the combination? Kappa Lambda Kappa Sigma. That's not it, Nancy. Kappa Lambda Kappa Sigma. You're trying my patience, Detective Drew. What's the combination? Delta, 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 Delta. Hey! What the... Get me out of here, Nancy Drew! I'm sure the police will be happy to transfer you to another set of bars. So long, Detective Beach, and hello, prisoner number 4321A. Dear Dad, case closed. Mitch Dillon and his boss, formerly known as Detective Beach, are on their way to prison. The police still don't know his real identity, but his trade in top-secret information has been stopped, thanks to Aunt Eloise's burglar-proof safe. Daryl has confessed to selling information about his father's military projects. Despite the damage this has caused Gray Enterprises, Daryl's father has forgiven him. Connie returned her trophy, but the judo club refused to take it and is opening their competitions to women next year. Hulk agreed to pay for the damages to the pharmacy, and Hal has gotten his scholarships. And I'm headed to the beach, where the only cover I'm going to go under is a beach blanket. See you soon. Nancy.